Okay, good. So, uh, Mr. Patero from Vancouver wrote us. And he actually wrote Evan, and he, he wrote a couple other people. Uh, our friends from Baltimore, Houston, and um, Vancouver, they're all focusing on writing us comments right now. So stop, find yourself a seat, bring your eyes right up here. Come on. Right here. Are we ready? Put your hands on your head if you're ready. Cross them over your chest if you're ready. Put them down. Total body, listen if you're ready. So, the reason I want to show you this is because I've noticed some people trying to comment. I think we need to revisit it because the quality of the comments have been eh, not so good. What I mean is not, not, there's not full sentences. Nobody's making connections. Nobody's asking questions. People are writing stuff like, great, cool, awesome. Which is okay, that could be part of your response, but you guys gotta put some more thought into your comments. All right? What's the point of commenting with someone if you're not going to challenge their thinking, or if you're not going to make a connection with them, or if you're not gonna ask something else to make you to deepen your understanding about what they're writing? It's pointless. Okay? It is good to say, great job, cool, I loved your blog. That's a great start, but you gotta build off that. So look, I wanna show you what Mr. Patero wrote. Because he did a great example. And I've seen some great examples. Uh, one person, Chloe, I've seen asking some questions and do, put some thoughts in her comments. So let's, I'm going to read this. Or actually, Evan, you read it. It went to you. Um, I have another comment under um, there that I just read. We'll look at that for sure, pal. Come on up. Come on up and read this for everybody. And Evan, as you're reading, we're going to start to think about why this is a great comment. Go ahead, Evan. Hello, Evan. Mr. Patero here from Vancouver Kotlin. Have you, you have some great ideas, and I would definitely consider voting for you. We just had elections in Canada two weeks ago to elect for a prime minister, like your president. It was a hard, it was hard to decide. I think the recreational center is a good idea because then everyone could use it all year long. Does it get cold in OOB in winter like it does here? Get much snow? Cool. Yeah, we get so much snow. I see many connections. Raise your hand if you got one connection he made. Go ahead, Evan. You take over. <laughs> Call on someone. One connection. Um, Brady. You know, I would consider voting for you. Yeah. So obviously he said, hey, you've got some great ideas and you consider voting for him. There's one connection. He showed that he's read it. What's another connection? Huh. Yeah. Um, the, does it get cold in OB? Does it get cold in OB? Does it get Eyes up here. Yeah, does it get cold there? Yeah. Do you get much snow? You think that they maybe get snow and yeah. it gets cold there? Yeah. yeah. Probably. So he's asking questions. I don't know if that's a connection, Chloe. Kind of a connection, but those are more questions, aren't they? What's a connection to something that he wrote? Someone see something up there? Oh. Yeah, Tom. We had a lecture today, you know, two weeks ago. Is that a connection? Yeah. Yes. Not only is it a connection, he told about what Canada does, that they have a prime minister. So that's like our president. They don't have a president. They have a prime minister. That is a connection. Absolutely. What's one? I see one more connection that's sticking out at me. What connection does he make? The recreational center? Uh huh. And he thinks it's a good idea, right? He gives some feedback to Evan. And he says everyone could use it all year round. That's a great idea. Can we please put the devices down? We are right up here right now. Just like everybody up front, these guys in the middle here, Gabe, everyone's focused. So as you can see, he's got capitals, he's got periods, he makes a connection, he makes several connections, not just one. And then he asks a couple questions of Evan. Is that a thoughtful comment? Is it a thoughtful comment? Give me a thumbs up if you think it's a really nice thoughtful comment. Yes, this is a terrific comment. Yes, it's made by an adult, but you can do that. Anybody can do this. Not just adults, but this is a good model for you to go by. Anybody else have anything they want to add to this? So as, 
Go ahead, Brad. Um, I was just saying, whenever, whenever we get, um, whenever Vancouver writes to us, C Center, that's what happens with color and all those words. Like one of them said, on the all about we love for Vancouver, um, they wrote, like my favorite color, it said um, C O L, um, C O L, like O U O L. Yeah. So they, so they, I oh, they, they spelled color a little different? Yeah, they, and they yeah. might write stuff different. See center? So yeah, you're starting to see that there might be some, yeah. Okay, Wait, so that's where we're getting to the culture of peace. And thank you for pointing that out, Riley. Uh, Riley's starting to notice that they're saying similar stuff, but their dialect and their, their wording, the way they spell it and deliver it is a little different. So that, come, that has to do with Riley, with them being in Canada and us being here. So it is a little different. So... That's a French. That's kind of like a French uh, twang or French way of spelling it. Yeah. Centra. I'd have to. I, I don't know. I don't know how to say it in French or how to, how to put the French tongue to it. But um, what we're doing is Riley is we're gonna have a Google Hangout with these guys next next week before we take off at Thanksgiving break. What's a Google and Hangout? A Google Hangout is what we did with the mystery guys. Um, so we're gonna get. We're gonna get a chance to talk to them about those things, Riley. So hold that thought because you'll be able to develop. Some we're gonna develop some questions as individuals and as a class. So while, yes. we're, while we're skyping, we can um, we can tell them like Ask we, them. we write we write different and stuff like that. We write right. different and well, so the, remember the question: um, What can we learn from different cultures around North America? One thing we're learning is the way they write in their words in their vocabulary is a little different from ours, isn't it? And that's the cool thing about learning about people from around the world, is people have do different things and speak different ways. So that's why I really love this blog challenge. Anything else people notice? Riley, that's a great, great point there, dude. Thank you for bringing that up. Are yeah, we winning great. the blog challenge? There's no, <laughs> there's no winners or losers here, folks. Yeah, All right, Brady. If you switch around, it will be our type of center. There you go. Simple. Switch it around, it'll be our type of center. Centra. Anything else? So this is an example of a really good comment. Evan, scroll down um, and let's show us what you what you wrote back to him. This is, looks very thoughtful too at first glance. Go ahead. Hi, Mr. Patera. I think your recreational center is a good idea too. And to answer your question, it got very cold last year. So cold we had a blizzard. I don't know if it will be that cold this year or just cold because it has been a mix of cold and warm from October 1st to November 12th. It might continue or the warm days might start turning into the cold days. Thanks for commenting on my blog, Evan A. That was pretty good, right? Yeah. Did he answer his questions? Yeah. yeah. Was he really thoughtful? What's, yeah. what's some little feedback for Evan? Anybody got something? Question. Jesse. I like his comment. You like his comment? I like how he addressed, hey, Mr. Botero, introduced it. Any feedback from him? Yes, Sarah. He answered his questions. He answered his questions. Excellent. Anything uh, good or maybe some feedback that might help Evan improve his comment? Anything at all? Cole. I think he was really smart with, has been a mix of cold and warm from October 1st to November 12th. Yes, yeah, so he gave him a lot of feedback, didn't he? Yeah. Good. Gave him quite a bit of feedback. Smart. That was nice. Because then you get, it really gives us the Batero an idea of the time frame and if it's yeah. been, you know, that it's been kind so of a mix of cold and warm. Here, he can. Yeah, man, if, if you want to come for a visit, <laughs> he would know what the weather's like, right? What else? Any, anything like some, some constructive feedback? Something that would make this better? Not something that we've covered some things that are really good about it. Something that would make this better. What do you see that catches your eye? Look up here. Everyone look up. What's catching your eye that he needs some help with? Yeah, Riley. Maybe, um, actually, yeah. Someone new, Jackson, what are you seeing up here? You haven't been called on, I'm gonna try to get to some people I haven't been called on. Anything you could prove on Jackson? I see something. Charlotte, want me to come back to you if you catch something? <laughs> Give me a couple seconds.
Anything that would help make this be more clear or improve it, Jackson? I'll help him. Okay. Seconds. We'll come right back to you, okay? I know what we're doing. We'll go to the camera woman over there, Charlotte. I'm sorry. Botero has the red underline. Yeah, okay, so definitely look out for your red underlines. That is his spelling of his name. So one thing you can do is scroll up and look. Does it match what Mr. Botero's name is? Yeah. So scroll down. B O T E R O. So is it the same? Yeah. He does have it right. Just recognize sometime with a, with a name, it doesn't recognize that. So that's a good catch, Charlotte. So we got to be sure. Some things will show up as some things will show up as being red, meaning it doesn't the computer doesn't register it as a name. So you gotta do that. You gotta do that work yourself. Make sure you spell. Anything else, Brady? What would we do here? Maybe since yeah, the first there's a space there's a space between the one and the st. Maybe you can make that make that like word all. Look at his spacing. Yes, spacing looks like an issue. I'm noticing after a period, how many spaces do we add? One. One. So he needs to add, look at his spacing, and he needs to look at what else. Let's stick on that grammar stuff. You see anything else? Yeah, right. Um, and two. This is, two is capital. Right. Look at your capitals. There's a couple instances where he has capitals where they shouldn't be, and he doesn't capitalize some places. This all comes down to reading and revising. Remember, the audience. This is going out to a public blog that everybody can read. You want to make sure you're looking at your capitals and you really have your grammar right because you want people to be able to understand your message, Evan. You've got a great message here. We don't want all that other stuff to get in the way. So remember, before you comment, it's always a good suggestion to get a friend to peer edit. And then Get myself to edit. If you're unsure, ask me. I'm right here. I can help. Anything else anybody wants to add? Yes. Um, I think um, just for the whole class, I think that they should, if they spell things differently than us, and we're trying and we're trying to spell the same word as them, why don't you try to like? If he was trying to say something, they should probably he, so they understand us. We should probably spell it the way that they did. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. You can also make the point, hey, Evan can say, hey, I noticed you spelled cent center, S-E-N-T-R-E. -E. But I feel could like you that please would be me. Well, no, could you say, in, in, in here in the United States, we spell it C-E-N-T-E-R. Could you please, ex you could ask him a question, right? Could you please explain why you spell it C-E-N-T-R-E? -E? But that sounds mean to me. Well, you can, can you say it nicely? Maybe I made, made it sound mean. You could say, Tommy, uh, what could you say instead? Like, I know. I noticed, uh, I noticed you spell center different than ours. Not to I be mean, know. but could you please explain why? You could say that, right? Yeah. Anybody else got something different? Mm -hmm. No, yeah? Evan. Um, like, what Tommy said, I noticed you spell center different than us. And then like, and then kind of like, like, like you said, I don't really want to be mean, but next. I don't want to be very mean. I don't want to be mean, but I, but you spell it differently. So can you explain why? There you go. Now did he ask a question back to keep the conversation going. Yeah. Yep. And that's something that you might want to know, right? Everybody got it. We cool? So you have about 10 more minutes before we're going to go into our Earth Surface Project. Okay? Earth Surface? 